And so I took it to me that with the experience that I've had over the years, that that vision that I have for Dominica will be realized. A vision which is a shared one. Because all of us, all of us, we want to live in a country that provides for the people. A country that allows us not to walk and be two hours. We want to live in a country where the cost of living is manageable. We want to live in a country where after we pay prices for the government, we don't get a raise of $54. But we get enough that we can maintain our livelihoods. We can maintain the support of our children. We don't want to live in a country where people are still against each other simply because we must support the party. And only those of the party get rewarded and the children get rewarded. We do not want this kind of country. We do not want this and we need to reject it. But we need to build together. And that's where the unity of a united workers' party comes. Let us allow the CIP or others to divide us and the party. Let us allow our different cities to divide us because we can all change the same. The way you might think about something is not the way you think about it. But let us commit to that unity of purpose. That when we speak, we speak with one voice. We speak as a united party. We speak as the ground trembles because the Labour Party understands that we are coming. They amount to nothing. What is important is that we are united together and that we are able, we are able to get people to join us and to be on our side. That's very important. In the 1995 election, we won 11 seats in Parliament. 11 seats and were able to form government with 34.3% of the vote. In 2000, 9-6, 43.4% of the votes. 2005, 9-6, 43.6% of the votes. 2009, 3-6, 34.9% of the votes. 2014, 6-6, 42.9% of the votes. And 2019, so, what this tells us, and what that should tell all of us here, is that for us to clock our way back into government, to be able to form the next government as we must, the people of Dominica deserves nothing less. And so let's let our actions be in support of that desire, of that vision for a better Dominica, of that desire to replace this useless, wasteful government. But to do that, we need to appeal to our fellow Dominicans, those who are fearful, those who believe that it is a true right to get along, those who believe that, especially young people, who know nothing else about this government, who believe some of them that is the only side of government, we need the bottom side. We need the young people, we need the women, we need the elderly, so that we can move these percentages to upwards of 60%. It is possible, but that will take the effort every single one of us. It's not so much, yes, the leadership has a lot to do with it. The leader of the party has a lot to do with it. But at the end of the day, it is your ability 
to reach out and to speak to your neighbor. I will never be able to spend the amount of time with your neighbor as you want. You know where they stand, you know how they go, you know how they play. You have a past It helps you to convince them that there is a better way. We need a leadership with no man. But it's not the same man. It's very often, and if people say, oh, it's a leader, it's a leader, it's a leader. What about me? What about my will? What about what I can contribute? Because at the end of the day, it's about something the most. At the end of the day, it's about getting enough people in 11 constituencies to take a strong step. So we spend a lot of time, a lot of time talking about the presence of the leader when he's not there. So we tell the leader is not in our leader, not in our It is my first year in Dominica, and I need to thank my friend for putting it at a good time because my first year is the first year where I am in the night. I've been going for three hours every single Tuesday in the field. We are planning, we are discussing, we are keeping the vision alive. The management committee is playing a part. Are you playing a part? It is okay to come here and vote and, and be a part of the process, but more importantly, all of that will be nothing. All of that will come to us if we are not able to remove this government. The suffering will continue, the downlifting will continue, the spirit of Dominic this morning will continue. All of that will continue. If we do not remove this government, and there is a way to do it, there is a way to do it, and this is the reason why, in this coming year, I'm going to ask you, as your leader, we are going to have the election in the event. I expect that you will vote with a free and clear conscience. You will determine who is best to lead the fight for us. But one thing I will ask you to do is that in the coming year, we resolve to build ourselves in each of the constituencies. There is in the street, and there is on the ground. They both, they both have their places on the street and on the ground. On the street to show our discontent. To let the leader of community and the rest of the people know that we are not happy with what's going on. This has its current place. And we should do the protests. We should do the matches. We should do the speeches. We should do whatever it takes politically on the streets. But having done that, let's not forget on the ground. And it's not just about your leadership, not just about your leader. It is about all of us. This is serious business, guys. Our country is hurting. Our country is suffering. Our country is broken. Look at the wave of crime. A violence in this country. Look at the number of young men we lost. Look at the number of cases of abuse of our women and of our young girls. I mean, there's a little bit of ground in this country, but we cannot afford to just sit passing the by. This is all what we need that we're talking about. Where you going? And yes, I've been away when I got elected last year. I spent some time, but I made several trips to Dominica. During that time, I was able to set up the association in Corleo, in my own beautiful grand form. I was able to walk the streets of Acid Rose and the Kalinago territory and do hope and dance on them and to see the dialogue with the people of Dominica.
I want to do more of that. I mean, they will be an opportunity to do a lot of that. But we're the leader of the party, not saying we still do one thing. But for the nation, we take our home. As a team of strategy in a country that is struggling. A country that is struggling to regain itself, to stop the killing. As a young boy, my grandpa has a place in me. And I've given this commitment.